I was actually a business consultant in Toronto and I was in a very good or very happy business consultant and I'd gotten very interested in problems of poverty and the vulnerable but I looked around at a place like Toronto or Canada and I said you know I don't know how to help these people this seems like there's so many opportunities here and and yet the last mile of poverty that just looks so hard to, to, to traverse and to solve but there are these places that haven't had those opportunities and maybe better maybe there's more hope there and so I, I quit my job and I went to graduate school spent two years at Harvard studying to become a policymaker so to bridge the gap between research and policy my my strategy really is to try to change the conversation I think as an academic you're not in these organizations every day you're not making that change yourself and there are just too many policymakers to reach, but there are conversations, there are ideas that people have about how things work. And so I think that the power of some of the things I can do is to actually change the way that people talk about certain problems. So one example where there's been some success in my own work and the work of many other scholars is around cash. This is a cash in humanitarian crises, cash after war, uh, cash to Liberian street youth, what we've, found collectively is that the very poorest people, people affected by wars and crises, or just average poor people in a country not affected by war, they need cash. When you give it to them, they use it well, and they, uh, and they improve their lives. And they not they don't just, they're not just less poor for a day, but they often start businesses and they, and they earn cash for maybe a long while. And, and so this is a real cheap solution to world poverty and to humanitarian crises. And it wasn't obvious, that's the way it worked. And, and, and what's happened is those points of evidence for me and others have changed the way people talk about it. And you're seeing real movements on the ground to fundamentally change the way that we work in war zones and we work in the poorest countries. So there's a real question of how we help other people do this kind of work as well. Uh, and there's a lot of ways to do that. We train students and we try to teach them to do good science, to do policy relevant science, to focus their research on things that are having real world impact. I try to work with governments and donor agencies, whether this is the US government or the UK government or the World Bank or other donors to try to make funds available, not just for my research, but for research in general to push the frontier about what we know about reducing crime or gang violence or conflict or other forms of violence all across the world. And I think by putting more people and more resources towards these things, I think our institute is really gonna to try to increase sort of this groundswell of people and money and time and energy towards creating more knowledge around how to solve these problems. <laughs>